Hi, myself Vinita, working as an assistant professor at KSR College of Arts and Science Parliament. Today I am going to share a topic about weaving. Weaving is a method of textile production in which two distant sets of yarns or threads are interlaced at right angles to form a fabric or cloth. Other methods are knitting, crocheting, fitting and braiding or plaiting. The longitudinal threads are called the warp and the lateral threads are called the weft, wolf or filling. The method in which these threads are interwoven affects the characteristics of the cloth. Cloth is usually woven on a loom, a device that holds the warp threads in place while filling threads are woven through them. Yarn from spinning. Usually threads are uh, separated into two types, warp and weft yarn. First warp, warp, winding, warping, slashing or sizing, drawing and tying and it finally moves to weaving process. In weft, winding, winding can be divided into two parts, pin or cone. Uh, first one pin means shuttle loom and cone means shuttleless loom and, and this can be moved to weaving. And next there are three steps of weaving preparatory process. Uh, first winding and warping and third one is sizing first stage is winding the first stage of winding preparatory process is winding where the one yarn warp or weft span in the spinning process is wound to make suitable package for the next processing the yarn from the spinner's package called ring tube or bobbin produced in the ring spinning objectives of winding to clean the yarn to increase the quality of yarn to get a suitable package and it is used to reduce in breakage warping after finishing the yarn binding selected cones are transported to next process for example warping warping is an essential weaving preparatory process in weaving mill this is a very common say about warping good warping finishes 50 percent weaving and the final stage is sizing Warp yarn sizing is an essential process to coat warp yarns with elastic film and bind fibers of yarns and lowering fluffy or hairiness so that the yarns may be become so strong that they can resist the mechanical strain in weaving process and or maintain or improve weaving efficiency and objectives of sizing are to make yarn surface smooth and pliable to maintain flexibility in yarn to increase the strength of yarn to get the required number of ends and next we are going to see about loom what is loom first loom is a one type of mechanical device which is used to produce woven fabrics by the interlacement a series of vertical parallel threads the warp with a series of horizontal parallel threads the filling or weft sometimes loom is also called as weaving machine in weaving technology, loom is the principal mechanical device for weaving. Pit loom is the first loom in loom history. Subsequently, the hand loom was developed and then the power loom. Now, various types of looms are used for producing fabric. Classification of loom. Generally, loom can be classified into two types. They are hand loom and power loom. First, hand loom. Hand loom can be separated into various types. Uh, first, primitive or a vertical loom, semi-automatic loom, hatterly loom, pit loom. Pit loom can be divided into two types, through shuttle loom or fly shuttle loom. And another one is frame loom. Frame loom can be classified as throw shuttle, fly shuttle and power loom. Power loom can be divided into various types, ordinary power loom, electric power loom, automotive power loom, modern power loom. And next jet loom, rapier loom, multi-phase loom. First jet loom. Jet loom can be classified into two types. R jet loom, water jet loom, uh, rapier loom, flexible rapier loom, single rapier, double rapier. And the final one is multi-phase loom, plain multi-phase loom, circular multi-phase loom. Loom can also classified into two types depending on the shuttle. First one shuttle loom and another one is shuttleless loom. Shuttle loom. Shuttle loom is the loom where weft yarn is inserting through the warp yarn by the means of shuttle. Shuttleless loom. In the shuttleless loom, weft yarn is inserting through the warp yarn by means of projectile rapier, air, jet or water.
types of weaving. Weaving has several patterns which help to produce different materials on apex. Sometimes a singular view pattern will be used to create single view unit, while other views require the compilation of several combined techniques to create one unit. View patterns range from simple to very intricate. Plain view, twill view, basket view, dutch view, jackpot view, toby view, setting view and satin view. And also so many views are in weaving. Thank you.